one versus number two seed in terms of the group. Very similar to how Splice and MV face off in the first game. And what do you know? It is CTF Truth. It's going to be the same set of game types. Eric, what does the side of Luminosity have to do to beat Team Liquid? I mean, coming off a 3-0 win against London Conspiracy and Liquid not playing a game just yet, I think that... They do have a good chance, Tom, here. And we're going to kick it off with Victory X. If they manage to not only control the camo, keep it out of the hands of Liquid, and just make sure that the sword doesn't really have too much play, I think they could they could take this one. I mean, but again, uh, man, Liquid is really, really good at this game type. Really good. Nice plays coming out from Victory X. Can he kill the, kill the camo guy? Excuse me, he's looking for him, but he's no shield. So he has to just hide, and that's going to be rain dropping. Camo pretty late, usually around... 48. This one's around 42 here. So Victory gonna get underneath the base and try to influence spawns over towards the bubble and control the enemy base. But Seller picks up a double kill. And now Victory is the last guy alive. So he's stuck underneath the base. And you can see the members from Team Liquid are getting extremely aggressive, even pushing towards that Luminosity base. Now, one of the things to watch out for is Luminosity has not practiced that much in the last week. And I'm wondering if that is gonna hinder their performance just a little bit. In warmups yesterday, uh -oh. they were really struggling against NB. Yeah, they did beat London Conspiracy, but this is another type of team here going up against here in Team Liquid. So a lot to be said here in these next couple games, but I feel like Liquid is playing at a really high level and it's gonna be very difficult for these guys in Luminosity to keep up. But here's the thing, Splice, oh they proved that anything could happen today. So we'll find out as Saiyan and Ninja pick up a couple kills and that flag is still there. And Stellar was the last guy alive. Eco though off the respawn, might get the flag cap, just gets killed narrowly as he's going to drop and now Stellar drops. He's trying to get the flag. Penguin's moving in. Everyone is trying to do anything they can to get that capture and I believe it is about to get re Returned. It did. Nice job, Victory. Great X. return. Yeah, Victory X gets the return. Penguin gets the return on the other side, and Penguin, he's got the bright bleach hair there, rocking a little bit of uh, I don't know, what would you call that hairstyle there? Uh, a little bit of Papa Don't Preach, you know. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it sounds good to me. It's uh, you know, I forget I forget the name of the Osborne daughter, but oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Rain has for us, Rain. Very underrated player, just like Victory X on the other side for Luminosity. But I think the big factor here to me is Ninja. Ninja is the X factor. I think Gaskin touched base on a little bit yep. earlier today. If Ninja is playing well, he is the heartbeat of this team. He's just going to drop. So we're going to switch on over to another heartbeat of this squad. That's saying the new addition. This guy is, again, another underrated player, too, here. So I love to see this squad, Luminosity. They have three extremely undervalued players in terms of what they feel like the amount of respect that they should get. And then you have Ninja, who is one of the most popular players in all of Halo, if not the most popular player in Halo. So such a crazy mix of players, and they're a lot of fun to watch. And he's, he's pretty big in H1Z1, too. I mean, he's, he's nowhere near, you know, Dr. Disrespect status, but I mean, he's up there. He's up there. Uh, he's not the best, but he's good. But anyways, we are staying on board with Saiyan. Obviously, the young gun on this team. Two members of Team Liquid fall to two melee kills right there. Now Saiyan just doing everything he can to stay alive. Two more kills now, uh, obviously, for this LG roster. And I believe we're going to see Saiyan most likely run the flag with Sword. And I, Camo is now in the hands of L-Town. They could easily put this flag cap in and potentially run another one. If L-Town hits some nice shots, shots, and he does, goes for the killing spree. Does he manage to stay alive? No, and eventually gets cleaned up. But one flag cap falling in the hands of Team Luminosity Gaming, and it was Saiyan with his sword that managed to make it happen. Yeah, the sword just plays such a huge role in all of these flag captures here, but the map is open here for Team Liquid. Stellar is pulling this one towards the spawns. Nice play by L-Town getting the kill right there, but Rain is there for the follow-up double kill for him. The flag is being pulled, uh -oh. and he looks like he's got it past the halfway point. That is huge. It's going to be up to Saiyan to try to get the return. I don't think he's going to be able to, and that flag is going to get ground pounded in. Penguin puts that one in, all tied up one to one. Yeah. And Penguin now pushing out to the pink side of the map, doing some great work, and just, you know, getting ready for that camo that's about to pop. I think we, we're a couple of seconds away from that. It's a late camo, yeah. Nice little five shot, though, over there on Ninja. Now it looks like he sees an enemy. Victory X actually running the flag on the opposite side of the map. Stellar, though, hits a perfect five shot with the pistol on L-Town. So now Victory X is Ooh, all predicted. but dead. That got predicted there by Eco. I think he saw the, you know, tail end of where he was going and predicted that perfectly and that was pretty much the only way that these guys were going to be able to go into a flag standoff so very heads up play coming out from T Liquid they take control now they should be able to get pink get the camo and all is well 
in Liquid Land over here. They have three <laughs> players. This is great for them. Now, someone needs to push top center and take some different angles. That would be ideal here, because then that player wouldn't be able to lay down the shots. Ninja going into wow. the most annoying spot possible, which is into that um, little carbine pocket there. But Reigns staying alive. Perfect play coming out from him. Again, someone needs to push top center. There is the push from the top center player. Now they're in good position, but Sane with the double. And I got to call out, Tom. I saw Victory X actually charge Pink 2 with the sword. Uh, narrowly... Uh, just died right there and gave the sword over to Team Liquid, but I don't believe anyone on Team Liquid actually saw it, and now it's in the hands of Stellar. We see Rain pick up a big back smack right there, but again, uh, just kind of trading back and forth right now. Yeah, trading back and forth, trying to control Pink Tower. That's what everyone's going to be trying to do here, but look at this map spread coming out. You have a player on Carbine. You, have, you did have a player top center and two players P2. This is the ideal situation for Team Liquid. Penguin finds the double kill. He's got the battle rifle making this look pretty easy. Can he find the triple kill? No. Maybe another double though for his efforts. Everyone's going to be spawning in the Carbine here, so Penguin's got to be oh, wow. very careful. Great shot. There yeah. it is. The spawner's coming, chasing him down. That should be another kill there for Stellar. And now the last guy live, Ninja with the heads up play. What a play from Ninja. Yeah. He actually spawns Carbine side into the bubble and instead of overextending, he he actually pushed underneath the front of his base because he realized no one was laying down cover fire from the enemy window. So really nice play there from Ninja. And now Saiyan picking up a decent double kill goes for another one top mid. L-Town cleans him up with the carbine and now it looks like Luminosity Gaming is finally has some decent control over here at the pink tower. They're gonna, you know, potentially be pushing in but at the same time Saiyan is waiting patiently for that camouflage to pop bottom pink. Uh, we know that you know, we, it's it's a little bit late. So I don't know if I necessarily agree with them playing this a little bit passive. I would have kind of pushed a little bit, to been a little bit more aggressive after getting those big kills on pink side of the map. Ego finds the triple hole. There goes the overkill into P2. He wants <laughs> it, but that player going to hide and stay alive as he should. Don't give up the clip, and also don't be the last guy alive giving up free kills too. But either way, L-Town weakens Eco. Not going to be enough. Eco still alive underneath the base. Team Liquid only one more cap, and they can win this one 3-1 to one and take game number one. But Saiyan trying uh -oh. to say no. Uh -oh. What a play by Saiyan. That's going to be three dead. Last guy alive Four. is Rain, and he drops. Very well played by Luminosity, especially Saiyan. And I like how they're just aggressive, just hyper aggressive right now, pushing over on the pink side of the map. Obviously Saiyan just extended a little bit too far, and that is all it takes for him to get dropped by the Team Liquid roster. They're playing out of their minds right now with their teamwork. But Luminosity, man, they, they have some good shots. They're still keeping in it. And I mean, when you're going up against a, a top three team, <gasps> oh my, Ooh. Windmill Ninja thankfully cleans it up. But uh, yeah, when you're going against a top three team like Liquid, you can't really, you know, play too crazy. You can't... God, Ninja is just driving me <laughs> nuts right now. Yeah, every fight is uh. so close. He's nearly winning all of these battles, but winning him is the key word as he goes for another fight on the guy over towards that car pocket. Everyone's spawning in the bubble. Ninja is a huge factor right now. He has the perfect weapon to lay down shots on these guys that are charging out, but he gets hit with a grenade. I'd like to see him grenade car two with these plasmas, but if he did, he would be giving up his position as well. So he's just going to slow play it. Look for the player's top center. That should be an easy kill if he wants no. it to go. He throws the nade predicting that he goes top center. And that oh. player. No. Oh, crazy turn. And worse, the ninja gets back smack. His flag is being ran out. Victory X, now he has to stop this one. Huge he does kill. pick up the kill, but is that going to be enough to get the return over wow. here? Wow. It is. Oh, my goodness. Perfect teamwork coming out from this Luminosity Gaming roster. Victory X narrowly escapes death. And then you see Saiyan fly in out of the base into Pink Tower. And now it looks like Victory X and the rest of his team are pushing in, keeping the pressure on Team Liquid. But a kill on Victory X Pink Tower could mean an entire set up break right here and yes it does a stellar flies down at a p3 and gets a big kill over there inside of his eli that could have been so big for luminosity the flag was there they had the region oh no well down you gotta watch out for spartan charging that wall man you gotta know the oh. rain and stellar every time you go to someone from luminosity they are just making a couple small mistakes that are giving team liquid control of this map as you see stellar has advanced pretty far has another player there that's going to be penguin staying alive perfect wow. shots that's going to be three dead but saiyan is clutching it as the last guy alive so big when you're the last guy alive just to get one kill especially when he's the flag runner oh yeah and now you see him just maintaining control this entire time he's such a nuisance and he really does this in any match that he's in right whether it's it's true ctf or any other game type uh, i know stellar is Almost uh, seemingly like an older pist or an old pistola, right? Where he was just so squirrely on. I remember narrows and pit construct always getting away. Um, Stellar really has a he has a lot of, of staying alive power on, on his in his arsenal. So it's, it's impressive, man. 
That's Kiga. Can victory stay alive? No. Rain shuts him down. Battle rifle inside P2. This is the ideal situation here. Can he lock this down? Only two more minutes here before Team Liquid wins by the time. So they can continue to maintain control or just continue to play the way that they are. And it should be locked up for them. But I really like this play from Rain. If he just, again, back off, maybe wow. even get to P3. This is the area to hold because getting that next camouflage will literally secure them the win based on time. So that is the play here. Whoever's going to be able to set up and get that should be able to do some serious work. But yep. one player that's doing work in the kill feed is Saiyan and he even stays alive. That's wow. all Five. four dead now. Where is the push for Luminosity though? Are they going to get into the base? No, that was just enough for them to get control I don't know of the map. If I agree with this push by Victory X, if I was him, I would have maybe pushed yes, to under the base, getting some kills, but now he's all alone in the bubble and he's actually blocking these spawns. It means that players are gonna spawn under the base or potentially behind him. And sure enough someone does manage to dipsy doodle and just get him and catch him off guard. But hey, Saiyan running the flag, knows that camo's up. I believe he heard a call out. I don't know if he burned it. He did burn it, but now that could be that we get the return coming out from Team yeah. Liquid and maybe a counter cap I mean that could have been the game right there. Yeah, uh, that that's hard to watch, Tom. Well, victory. He influenced the spawns just a little bit too hard, and then he didn't win that one v one. He stayed alive for a little bit, but now you see that they're pretty much on the ropes here. They're going for the desperation flag wow. pull over extension, trying to just bait this flag that got pulled as the other flag is being split on the other side of the map. So rain finds. One, but Victory is the last guy alive here, and I just don't think that's going to be enough. Stellar is waiting to put this last flag in. There it is, Team Liquid wow. taking game number one of this series, and Victory probably wishing that he had a little bit of those bubble decisions yeah. back there. I mean, he had a couple different options. He probably could have charged out there and ran the flag, but as he charged, they probably would have spawned in the bubble and shot him into the back. So maybe the best thing to do would have been to back off of the bubble, but call out that you're going to leave that open and then watch the spawners yep. there. But either way, the play that he did, it obviously didn't work, and then they got countered after that. 100%. And uh, I got to point out, Tom, when you brought up the fact that there's two minutes left, Liquid could just kind of wait out these these last two minutes, um, I, I, I almost want to think that they heard you or something. And I, I know that they, there's, there's no chance of that happening, but, I mean, my goodness, when you looked at the, some of the screens of the players on Liquid, right, when they, when they saw that it was two minutes left, I just saw them flying under the base of Luminosity Gaming. They were just constantly putting on offense, um, seemingly like Halo Reach almost in, in that type of a strategy where they just knew that, you know, if we just keep flying over to their base, they're going to have to keep coming back to their own playing defense. Next thing you know, every single time we saw some member of Team Liquid under the blue base of Luminosity, and it was just it was just annoying, man. It was a nuisance, and uh, Stellar did some great work over there on the Eli as well, staying alive. And, yeah, I mean, that to me, was was the difference maker was just that that last push we didn't see the run come out from saying we saw them go for the camo instead and next thing you know a counter cap comes in it was uh it was just a little bit hard to watch sometimes i mean it looked like so luminosity was definitely timing definitely had a chance and again it's it's really important to understand exactly where the flag needs to be ran exactly where the players are spawning where you're influencing the spawns all of those little things that's why you practice so much just to get up to this moment and one of the things that I was pretty impressed with, besides uh, the little windmill right there, was Ninja, the way that he was moving, shooting, the communication seemed really solid from Luminosity in terms of, you know, I didn't see anybody not going punished for being out in the middle of the map or one shots getting away that they shouldn't have. So in this next game, I want to go into a listening, um, especially on the Luminosity side, but we're definitely going to hit both of these teams. Because again, I feel like Ninja is really the heartbeat of this team in terms of um, he controls the ebb and flow of these guys' highs and lows. So we'll see if he can really put it together on what is probably one of his most famous game types in terms of what he's been able to do in the HCS Pro League and just Halo 5 in general. Yeah, I mean, um, I definitely I definitely agree with you there, Tom. When you, when you listen to this team, especially when they're scrimming online, uh, Ninja does a great job streaming. Um, well, really streaming a ton of games, but streaming his streams. And uh, yeah, you, you hear the communication, you hear L-Town chime in, you hear Victory chime in, you hear Saiyan playing a role as well. Um, and now you see Victory X there on your camera. This guy has been playing for quite some time. I know that he has quite a few fans out there. And uh, we actually got to see him um, have a little bit of an interview this week with ESPN, which was pretty cool. Saw that little pop-up notification on my phone from my, my Sports Center app. And it's, it's surreal seeing, you know, Mr. Cameron uh, kind of play all the way back in those Halo 2 days. I think he's the second oldest player in the league right now next to Nated. 
and this guy is still chugging. I mean, he is on the main stage at a World Finals. Well, there's a lot of players, I mean, Tom, like ourselves, that, are, that aren't still there. Yeah. Um, and so I, I always give props to these guys that have managed to, to stick with it and, and compete and, and compete at the highest level at that. So Victory X um, is, is really a guy for me to watch. But without further ado, Slayer on the rig, Tom. Who do you want to kick it off with? Well, for this, the, I, I know a little bit of Luminosity's strategy here. I know Sand, he's going to be pushing over towards the scatter shot, so he's going to go over there and bait that. He watches the barrel side, and then Ninja, what he does is he watches over towards the basement window, and L-Town's job is to get the sniper rifle. They haven't changed their beginning strategy in Rick Slayer for quite some time, so let's see if the guys on the side of Liquid know where the players are going for Luminosity. Now, they're kind of caught over here with the sniper rifle stuck at Carbine and everyone collapsing over them from the uh, bunker side of the map. And uh, I think it's pretty funny, guys, you know, uh, at home listening to T-Squared break down Luminosity Gaming's uh, strategy. I think that maybe he's done a little bit of homework before, <laughs> or, or maybe he just watches a lot of matches while casting. Either way, though, this guy knows his stuff, and we're going to stay on board with Penguin, who's looking a little frosty up there in our player cam right now as he moves on down this yellow corner with the DMR sneaking, but a wild rain is moving in with camo and no one knows it. Yeah, perfect play from Rain. Finds the back smack onto L-Town. We get the player over towards the carbine. That's gonna be three dead. What a push. No one was expecting the camo guy to come at the very end, and that's all four dead. Flawless execution coming out from Liquid. Everyone gonna be spawning over towards the bunker, and he already has sniper rifle waiting over there. He didn't have to be too paranoid. I think his influence was fine enough yep. over towards the players, but instead he's gonna elect to take a different angle over here. And if the players from Luminosity rotate over towards the barrels and keep an anchor over towards the bunker, this could work out pretty well for them. They could have the weapons just delivered to them. And for Rain to make it out alive right there and hit a no scope on Victory X for Stellar to get that cleanup kill. Very big job from him. Uh, just doing his best to really rotate uh, around the map. Carry a sniper. We've seen Spartan the Dog kind of invent that type of mechanic when it comes to Halo 5. I know Neighbor was very good at rotating with the sniper in the past, but now the scatter shot comes into play. We see Saiyan picking up a big kill. I believe he just put the scatter shot on respawn. So sure enough, we're gonna watch as this next one pops up. Pitting some good nades over there. And uh, it looks like he might have smelt the guy underneath him, but unfortunately gets cleaned up by Stellar. And now the scatter shot should be up, and I don't know. Yes, yeah, Stellar was actually able to grab it. He's over here in the snipe corner, and he might track down L-Town, but L-Town does a good job of getting away. Very, very good job, actually, because uh, I, I honestly had no hope after You're looking like, at I screen. probably would have died there. Yeah, I mean, I definitely <laughs> would have, but he, he managed to, you know, use his thrust and everything else to his advantage, and uh, that's why I'm casting. Now, Team Liquid does have the series lead, but I'm curious to see what the communication is like on the side of Luminosity. So let's hop into an Astro listen in with the guys from Luminosity. It's gonna be like pass, Carbine kill. Okay. Underpass the guy. I had her. I had her. I'm gonna die from overload. Overload's bad. E2, E2 in white White corner. SMG, SMG to bottom of your base. E2, Penguin. Getter's done. Getter's done, guys. Where are you? He's absolute. He dropped. SMG. That's bottom of your base. Watch out, Tom. He's still there. Getter's on respawn. Watch out, bottom of your base, guys. I can look. I can look. That's your D, Tom. Just live, live, live. Run away, run away. Scatter's up, man. Back up, Tom. Back up. I got your back. Scatter's up. Main, main, main. I got scatter. I got scatter. Snipes up. There's a guy top. There's a guy top. Snipes one. E2 weak. Chill out, Tom. He's not there. He's not there anymore. He's like E2, E2. They're trying to nade back themselves. They need it up. They need it up. Snipers up the map, dude. Basement door, basement door, basement door. Got one. One shot, one shot, basement door. Two basement door, though. Four. One shot, nice. E2, one shot, dude. I've scattered. I've scattered top tower. I'm living. E2, E2, E2. I've scattered top tower. I bought me, guys. I'm white hole, white hole. I can't see him. I can't see him. Then I'm coming. He's gonna be white corner. E2, E2. Rain, E2, rain. Come back down. Okay, I'm coming. Bottom mid. Bottom mid. Yeah, white corner. Okay, white corner. He's weak. White corner. Yeah. SMG, SMG. SMG weak. SMG weak. White corner. 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 Tom, I'm watching you. I got your underpass. Sewers, sewers. Yeah, there's sewers right now. Sewers right side. Dude, I'm chilling and he's going to be our base. I'm connected. I'm connected with the scanner. That's rich, though. Basement window, basement window. He just flew in. He just rushed me. Grab on to the basement window. We're going to kill this guy on the box. Basement window. One shot. Two, three here. Me too, me too. I don't know. There's a slap point there. I know. Dude, camo, what time? 41. 35, 35. Stay alive for it. I need a sniper. Long haul, long haul. Eco. He's going to die. He's one shot. He's absolutely long haul. Watch out. I need to look. Is that right now? 
All right, there you heard it. The communication coming out from the side of Luminosity. It's pretty solid coming out from them. It could be a little bit better, but either way, they're hyping, calling out as much as they can, and they are tied up here. That's exactly what you want to see if you were an LG fan. Let's hear, guys, in the chat who you want to win. If you want Luminosity, put a number two. If you want Team Liquid, put a number one, or just spam the team logos. I know that you guys have them from your subscriptions, but this is gonna slow down a little bit here, Eric. You can see the score is pretty much knotted halfway through this yep. game, or close to halfway through this game, and Scattershot right in front of Saiyan. He's gonna take advantage of that and pick it up, and knows how the mechanics of this gun works. If you're that far, bounce it off the ground and see it do some serious damage. Yeah, that was actually uh, pretty impressive for me to see him actually go for that bounce already, when it looked like he might have a chance to close the gap and maybe get a direct shot, but Saiyan, um, really the only guy on the map right now that's controlling a weapon. We have some DMRs and battle rifles around, but this scatter shot is so deadly in the right hands and used effectively. And sure enough, ooh, he whips it. It looks like he, he shot a little bit too early as he turned the corner. Next thing you know, Stellar gets a kill, and it's about to be three, maybe, no, L-Town does some great work getting a kill before he gets put down. And it is going to be all four dead for Lumin Luminosity Gaming. And it is a four kill lead now for Team Liquid. The scatter shot should be on respawn. It is not in the hands of anyone just yet. But we are going to stay on board with Stellar. And I think we're about 35 seconds away from that camo dropping. And he's well aware that he needs to grab that scatter. Yep, that's exactly what you want to do here. Just slow it down. Sniper's up. Five kill lead. Both the weapons on the map. Camo coming up here soon. Just make sure that you get the slays that you need to and then press the advantages when it's time. And that's what they're gonna do in a three on three situation over here getting extremely aggressive. And now they have players weak. So they can collapse on this or they, if they want, or they can just slow it down and wait for Luminosity to come to them because they do have the advantage in terms of the score and the series lead here. So there it is, as soon as they get two dead, that's when they're gonna start to push on these guys. Now they have multiple split spawns coming up. There's the carbine spawns that I was waiting for and they weren't ready for that. So Victory X is gonna find a couple of kills. That's gonna be three dead. And that's that was, a big mistake by Liquid. And that was a big kill. Not only was it a big mistake by Liquid, but big kill out of uh, Victory X right there. He actually saw Rain pick up the camo and then killed him right before he escaped. So very big camo burn right now, uh, right there. And it looks like we have a six kill deficit for LG. Ninja with the sniper rifle, eight bullets, could close the gap with just this sniper rifle alone and as well as take the lead. We're gonna have to see if his H1Z1 skills will translate to his Halo right now. Cause the guy's got a really good shot. He's always had a really good shot and he's actually a pretty smart guy when it comes to Halo as well. So we're gonna see if he's taking some of these new angles. I know that when it turns into a rig slayer game and everything slows down, we've seen players like Frosty um, and even Penguin um, take some really interesting angles on this on this map. So we're gonna have to see if, if Ninjas has anything up his sleeve. Yeah, four and a half minutes left, still plenty of time in this game. Everyone playing this pretty smart by both teams. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on with spectator mode. I want to go and switch on over to Ninja and see if he's going to be able to find where these player outlines are. So let's switch on over there and see where these guys are. Finally spotting someone that's going to be a player immediately just charging out with his assault rifle and he is going to be so frustrated about that death right there. That's so unacceptable to just let someone charge in the middle of the map right at your sniper and get the trade. Ninja has to be furious. And if there's any... <laughs> If there's any thought that's going through Liquid's mind right now, I'm pretty sure it's that. It's that, you know, they know how how their aggression can really, I mean, it gets it gets under the skin of a lot of players and a lot of teams. And when you're talking about the likes of Ninja, and and when he has sniper rifle, he really expects he holds his team accountable um, for watching his back, for watching his corners, and really watching all of those angles. And for him to come back from, you know, just going out on a little bit of a fishing trip out there on Yellow Corner, and him to turn around and see a player just, you know, just fly by with an assault rifle and it's and it's a guy on team liquid and then he ends up dying to him i mean those types of plays are are the ones that that could turn ninja into a, a tilt fest so you always got to be worried it's just two small things victory x not being aware of the spawns in ctf truth now all of a sudden you let ninja die with sniper, sniper rifle, rifle. You let him charge on the middle of the map over towards the barrel side and just Spartan charge or whatever that guy was doing, charging right out with his assault rifle out and going for the beatdown. Those are two things that are just 
again, unacceptable coming out from the Luminosity team. They have to address these small problems yep. and realize that they are hanging there with Team Liquid, one of the favorites to win this tournament, and they haven't practiced within a week. When you haven't practiced in a week, those little things slip by, and that's what happens, and that's why they are losing this series. Yeah, I mean, it's not over yet, 47 to 35, the comeback can happen, but you saw once that happened, once they got control of the snipe and the scatter shot, they started to just go on a spree of kills from Team Liquid. They know that they broke that setup for three. Yep, and one bullet left for Rain as he wastes it on a missed shot, but now only one kill left for this Team Liquid roster as they are about to go up 2-0 in this series against Luminosity Gaming, who's really proven to be a, at least the top 16, but potentially a top 14 when they're playing at the highest caliber. caliber. But here, 50 to 30, I believe it was 38, and uh, that was that was a tough, tough loss right there, mainly because we saw it was so close. I believe it was tied up 24 to 24 at one point, then it was in the 30s, and with a six kill deficit, we saw Ninja have the sniper rifle. He had a chance. I mean, all of LG had a chance, and we just saw a, a pesky liquid member just flying out into that into that cargo area of the map, and uh, that one player really just turned Luminosity on their heads and uh, ended up winning winning the game right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Stellar was the top gun in that performance, 15, 7, and 8. Very well-rounded game from him. Meanwhile, Altown 4 and 11. Not what you want to do in the Halo World Championships and. I don't know, maybe it's because he's playing with a Team Liquid logo. May want to change that to uh, something else there. If I was, uh, you know, had the straight guys and they were rocking some other team's logo, I'd be like, hey. And yeah, not to mention, nice he, try, guys. he gets his flack, too, from, from the community. I know that uh, it's time and time again that when we talk about Slayers and Luminosity Gaming, a lot of the times L-Town is on the bottom of the kills and uh, sometimes on the higher end of the deaths as well. So I don't know if it's just the team's play style or if maybe he's just not the most Slayer-oriented uh, player on his team. But regardless, um, not only does he put up those numbers, but on top of it, he's kind of supporting Team Liquid with that emblem. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm with you, Tom. I I, I don't agree That's with that. I, I mean, see. When, I don't want to see my teammate wearing the logo of the team that we're playing and going Would you, you, you know, if, if I had CBN in, in front of my name and all of a sudden I switched it to FB Ghosty on me, like, that doesn't... That, that, would that would that wouldn't that even, would I wouldn't even cross my mind. What would That's Waves it. think? What would Gandhi think? What, what would, would Harmon think? I it wouldn't cross my mind ever, you know. So I don't know. That's a weird one for me. I don't know if there's some new age type of back end trash talk that goes on with supporting other teams' emblems, but uh, <laughs> it's not something I'm familiar with. So hopefully we can see uh, Luminosity Gaming put together a, a little bit of a comeback here because they are down 2-0 and it's only a group stage. Possible. Let These me remind you. Close. It's just it's, a group stage. It is but group still, stage, but this a is deal. a very big deal because it's you're looking at getting a better bracket and yep. everyone, you know, wants to try to give themselves the best position possible to try to win this thing. And Team Liquid, they are off to a good start now being up 2-0 in the series. All they have to do is focus on closing this one out. Now, Luminosity on the other side, they are fully capable of the reverse sweep here because of the games being so close. So yep. what I need to be, you know, hearing from Fear itself, the, you know, national champion behind these guys Coach. right now, you know, that's that's a huge deal having someone with such composure and tournament experience to sit there and try to boost your guys' confidence. But it's going to be up to players like Ninja, players like Victory X, players like Fear itself to lead Saiyan and L-Town in this tough battle in the trenches yep. and to try to bring L-Town back and say, hey, you know what, it's a team game. You're not the reason that we lost that last game. Obviously, we lost by 12. You only went negative seven. You know, maybe go positive seven. Could have been a little bit different. But either way, Team Liquid, they are outplaying these guys as a team on Luminosity, and it's because yep. of individual mistakes. So tighten up the individual mistakes on the side of Luminosity, and they're going to be right back at this. Yeah, and I think that when you look at the two coaches, right, Fear itself, national champion, and Symbolica is also a very, very good coach. Um, it's it's going to be a big deal when you're talking about Strongholds Plaza. I know that there's really only this, the, you know, the shotgun and, and the storm rifle in terms of power weapons, maybe the plasma pistol as well. But when you look at that camo top middle there on your screen right now, it is so so crucial for you to focus on that. Make sure that you get that um, that pickup because if you don't, I mean, it, it could mean a boo boo doo boo type of play that spells that spells certain defeat for your roster in a strongholds you know match. I mean, it, it, it's it's hard, man. And so now we look at L Town. Not only does he get a big kill right there, and they are now capping the yard 
which is a little bit unorthodox, Tom. I, I haven't really seen many blue teams just push for yard like that. Yeah, it's pretty unorthodox. I guess you typically would see one team push, and they definitely changed their strategy. They used to just send, you know, zero or one player in there, and it would be Victory X. L-Town, nine times out of ten, would fly over towards the snipe side and try to help over towards the camo. So definitely a little change in strategy over here as L-Town is trying to find the camo guy, but I'm not sure if that's the best use of his time, and he end ends up getting cleaned up by Stellar. So let's see what Stellar's going to do. He's going to go over towards the yard. And there it is. It should be Team Liquid being able to put their first points on the board over here. That setup lasted for eight points total for Team Liquid. But the good thing for them, they still have Ness, and that's what everyone's going to be fighting over next. And not only do they have Ness, but we just saw Penguin control Camo all the way until it dissipated on him right now. But we do see bottom middle somehow fall into the hands of Luminosity Gaming. They must have double capped it with that quick six second cap time when you have two players in the hill. But now we see Penguin stay alive, cause a distraction, manage to cap that. And now they are up 10 to nine in the Strongholds game early. But look at these spots, man. He's, he's controlling it. And now when we go over to players like Eco, right? We see them moving all around the map. Rain has shotgun. He's, he's posted up. And then even all the way on Stellar, this guy is posted on the poster side of the map. What do you know? He's posted on the posters. There it is. But that is not McWin, that is Stellar, we know that. He's not an Envy, he is on Team Liquid. But either way, there it is, getting the beat down. Nice job getting the triple cap back over here. These guys are on the ropes. Team Liquid is playing some really great Halo right now. And wow. they are playing fantastic strongholds. Wow. Nice job coming out from Stellar, putting down so much damage, just being so aware of the stronghold oh, that he needs to be in in rain. Find the nice kill onto Ninja. The triple cap still in effect with Camo coming up here soon. This is huge if Rain can find it, but no, he's just going to support his teammate for that one. And it looks like who was able to pick that one up? It is none other than his duo, Penguin. And oh, Penguin now goodness. in a perfect position to lay down some shots and defend. Bottom middle, but whoa, he's on tilt over here shooting before you even get the oh advantage. And goodness. Ninja's going to take him down. What a play from Ninja. Very big play from Ninja. We saw Penguin pick up the Camo, turn around, and somehow shoulder bash Victory X in the back for the kill. So now we see Ninja and team turn around that bottom middle hill. They're only down. Oh, we get a triple cap as well. They're only down by about 30 points right now. And with that triple cap, you're going to see two points awarded every three ticks in this server. So Ninja is, is very well aware that he needs to keep the pressure up. Gets a big kill on the cleanup with Stellar. And now he's very well aware of this nest spawn, right? We know that players do spawn bottom nest. And look, a guy on Luminos, excuse me, on, on Liquid was already waiting to make that bait and switch. It looks like Ninja was, was he smelled him out. And now here he is going for a nice little flank. And uh, I, I guess he, he kind of lost them. They're definitely down there. Wow, they're not down at the lift. That's insane. Where were those two players that were over towards that nest side? Looks like maybe they went over towards S4. Yeah, that's going to be Penguin. So nice job by Penguin, pretty much tricking everybody on the map there to try to regain control. And he finds the shotgun too. So you'll notice a lot of players are wondering, why aren't these guys immediately going for the strongholds? They're getting triple caps on. Well, guys, you can't get into the strongholds when players are alive. You have to play the numbers game. You have to get the slays. That's exactly what Team Liquid did. They got yard. They got bottom middle. Now the rotation comes over towards the nest, but a little bit too much aggression. And Ninja, again, shutting down another priority player. He got the camo guy before. That was the shotgun player again. And he's trying to keep these guys into it because this is a desperation game here. Down down two to zero, they need this. And not just, you know, to stay alive and continue the series out, but just to show how well they're playing. Because yep. the first two games, again, they were in those games. They could have won those games, but just really minor mistakes. And Team Liquid took complete advantage of that. And now we look at Penguin, who actually was off the respawn, managed to grab a shotgun and a battle rifle. As soon as he died, he knew that the shotgun was on respawn. And he grabs the battle rifle, he spawns in, in loop, and he grabs the battle rifle and pushes out. And now, we're gonna hop on board with the camo player, Mr. Eco. Yeah, Eco, nice job by him. He doesn't even shoot an assault rifle bullet because he saw his teammate laid down three shots and that player was weak enough. So he's just gonna focus and kind of float around wherever his team needs him and just goes, gets that easy reset down here. Now just locking down this no. side of the map. What a play. Let's one player walk by him. Looking for the other player over towards loop. That should be three players over towards that loop side. There it is. Yeah, another player weak. Ninja again getting a top priority kill. Yeah, that was a, a, Ninja's a definitely, you know, feeling it here in this game number three. I think that he's realizing the seriousness of the situation being down. 
realizing that Ninja is such a key part of this game. And the rest of these guys, too, have been playing pretty solid. Victory X, Saiyan's been great. Eltown had a pretty solid start to this game. It's just that Liquid is out rotating them. They're getting the weapons, they're getting the camouflage, and there's nothing that you can do when you're stuck and you're down and you have to charge out into those strongholds and they're just set up waiting for you. So Liquid playing this very, very right. Oh yeah, and look at that. We just saw, I believe it was Rain putting on some good shots onto the, one of the players with shotgun. That was L-Town, who looked like he knew where one of the enemies was. Unfortunately, did not find him right away, but now his shotgun all out of ammo. Does his best to get this final kill. He needs this nice. kill so that they can cap out of mid. Very big cap going in favor of Luminosity Gaming, but it could be at the trade of deaths. And then, therefore, another counter cap. We'll have to see as we see Saiyan pushing in. He thought that he had the player hiding behind Prius and staying alive, but I, I, I don't Prius know who that was. Was that Stellar? Yeah, Stellar is just, he's, he's a pesky dude, man. He's down there just doing everything he can to just wait for his teammates to respawn, and uh, he's damn good at it. It's looking pretty solid here for Team Liquid. Let's switch on over to them because they do have all the strongholds on the yard and the nest side. They're just looking for bottom middle to close uh -oh. this one out. Even if they do just hold this bottom middle and yard, they are going to lock it down and this is it. Unless someone gets into yard. Oh, oh there it wait, is. there's a chance. Luminosity is in yard. Are they going to be able to get it? Sand is there. 98, 99. Wow. They didn't even get the 99th point. So Team Liquid, they haven't closed it out quite yet. Luminosity still a little bit of a pulse and it starts with Sand here bottom middle. Yeah, this is a little bit weird for made for them to both just rush bottom middle rather than get some kills. We saw two kills obviously falling for Team Liquid and now we saw Ninja just kind of barrel down there. I think they assumed that the players on Team Liquid were going to go for Nest. That was not the case and now this could be the end of it. I know that the control is coming in but with Camo in Penguin and with Storm Rifle on Penguin and with Rain capping the, or the yard, I mean, it's, it's all but over, Tom. Yeah, it's all but over. It doesn't even matter if Rain's able to capture the yard or not. Very impressive win coming out from Team Liquid. It was a 3-0, yeah, don't get me wrong, the games were pretty close, but a 3-0 nonetheless against one of the top teams in the world. I know the Liquid's gonna take that any day of the week, no matter how much prize money is on the line, but overall, just, you know, that game two, I feel like was huge yep. for Luminosity. I know that I sound like a broken record when I talk about highlighting how you gotta get Ninja going and things like that, but for him to lose that sniper rifle, yeah, don't get me wrong, he wasn't in the best